Welcome to Counterts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at break-even sales. We're going to explain what it is and show you how to calculate break-even sales when you're given a question and you have to calculate the break-even sales. In our previous lesson, we looked at break-even quantity and we explained what it is and we also went through a calculation example. So if you want to check that one out or an example where we did quite a number of calculations with regard to CVP analysis, you'll find the link to that lesson as well in the description below. So what is break-even sales? Well, this is the value of sale that needs to be made in order to break even. And by breaking even, we mean making neither a loss nor a profit. Okay, so when you see break even sales, when you're asked to calculate the break even sales, you are looking for a rand amount or a dollar amount. So it's the value of sales, how much sales you should make for you to break even. So what is the formula for calculating the break even sales? Well, here it is break even sales equals to fixed costs divided by the contribution margin ratio. So obviously, you'll usually be given your fixed costs, your contribution margin ratio. You may have to calculate that one there. Another way to calculate the break-even sales is by taking your break-even quantity and you multiply that by the selling price per unit. Okay, and like I said, we've done the break-even quantity before. So whichever formula you would prefer, you would get the exact same answer. So let's look at an example and calculate the break-even sales. Well, here we are given an example and we are asked to calculate the break-even sales. We are given the estimated annual sales, 5,000 units at 160 rand each, direct material cost for 45 rand and direct labor cost for 90 rand. Now, direct material and direct labor, if you add them together, they will make up what is called the variable cost. Okay, and those are the only two variable costs we see here. And then we've got factory overheads, which are all fixed, as we are told, and it's 80,000 Rand. Administrative expenses, which are also all fixed, 55,000 Rand. And those would form part of your fixed costs. Okay, so you'd add together your factory overheads and you're told they're all fixed and administrative expenses and you will get your fixed costs. So let's calculate the break-even sales. Let's bring up our formula again. Here it is, fixed costs. And we have that already, it's the 80,000 Rand plus the 55,000 Rand because those are the two fixed costs we have. And then for the contribution margin ratio, what you have to do is to first calculate your contribution or get your contribution. So you will get that by taking your sales minus your variable cost. Okay, and what is our sales here per unit? Well, it's 160 Rand as you can see on top here. So it's 160 Rand. And what is our variable cost? Well, like I said, it's the direct material cost per unit plus the direct labor cost per unit of 90 Rand. So we do that and we get 135 Rand variable cost. And then we take our sales minus our variable cost. It will give us our contribution. And that is 25 Rand. Once you have your contribution, for you to get your contribution margin ratio, you will take your contribution of 25 Rand and you divide it by the sales of 160 Rand. So it's the contribution divided by your sales, you will get your contribution margin ratio. And like I said, it's the 25 Rand divided by the 160 Rand. And our contribution margin ratio is 15.63%. Now that we have our fixed costs, which is the 80 Rand plus the 55 Rand, and we have our contribution margin ratio, we can get our break-even sales. So it's going to be the 80,000 Rand plus the 55,000 Rand will give us our fixed costs, and we divide that answer by the contribution margin ratio of 15.63%, and it gives you the break-even sales of 864,000 Rand. What does this mean? It means if you make sales of 864,000 Rand, you will be able to break even. And as we showed you earlier with the second formula, you'd have to get your break even quantity and multiplying that by the sales price per unit, which is the 160 Rand. And you would get the exact same answer, 864,000 Rand. Now, if you get a slightly different answer to mine by putting this into your calculator, it's because of rounding off difference, okay? It's not incorrect. So I just rounded mine off. I hope it's made sense. I hope you've gained value from this lesson. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time, cheers.